Welcome back, fellow Clashers, to another day of sneak peeks and more brought to you by Galadon and Clash of Clans attacks. And yes, indeed, you know by now today's update sneak peek, Clan War Opt-In Opt-Out. What a great feature finally here. People have been asking for this for months and months by the thousands. This is probably the most requested update feature I've ever seen. Everybody happy to have this here. It's going to make Clan Wars much, much easier and... That's about as much talking I can do on that subject. So let's move on and talk about some replays. How about the fastest a queen has ever been vaporized in Clash of Clans? Yes, you just saw it. We've got to watch that one again. That is about 0.8 seconds, and that level 40 queen was instantly put to sleep. Yes, a simple town hall snipe gone wrong thanks to Dexter's troll base. The queen goes down. Big bombs, Tesla skeleton traps, the wizard towers firing, multiple archer towers, an X-bow, and you can see as the bombs go off, a huge explosion of nuclear proportions. And by the time the smoke starts to clear, the queen is long gone, and this attack is quickly headed downhill. And right now, I just can't help but wondering what that attacker was thinking at that moment. Is he dumbfounded? Is he trying to calculate how he was going to come back from this attack? He finally does drop some golems in, and of course, they're going to wander around the outside after those Teslas. He drops his king as well. Everybody working on getting the Teslas out of the way, the clan castle troops, and finally, with some wizards and a rage spell, he does get the town hall down, manages to save this attack, but nonetheless, a very interesting replay to watch. So Dexter's base didn't quite save him any trophies that time, but he did only lose one. But every now and then those base setups work out just perfectly and you do save some trophies. Here is another very recent attack of the Galatrap 3.0. And you can see one Lava Hound, only a single Lava Hound brought to this battle and that was a big mistake. The attacker fell victim to the Galatrap anti-air. Three rage spells placed along the outside perimeter of this attack pretty early, and that really prevents those balloons and minions from having any success getting more deeply into this village. You can see all of the infernos, expos, and mortars are still standing as the last of the minions are working on those outer structures, and before you know it, the attacker only has the heroes left and he's at 39% damage, so he goes for the save on the left-hand side, so he does manage to avoid my giant Tesla trap at the bottom of the village, but here come my clan castle wizards and witches, and that is going to be doom for whomever is left, still trying to get through my outer walls, only a level 25 king, and he is quickly going to be overrun, put to sleep, and this attack is over. So a good 17 trophy defense for the Galatrap 3.0 anti-air, but what I thought I would do next is we'll go back to the village and take a look from my point of view so you can see exactly where my traps, Teslas, and bombs are and kind of what the theory is behind their placement. Now we know that a Lava Hound based attack is almost always going to lead with those Lava Hounds. So you can see when we look closely at my air defenses towards the top of the village that those seeking air mines are set right next to them especially the top two because that's usually where that type of attack comes from. So let's go back and look at the replay real quick, zooming in on the Lava Hound moving in, and right away one seeking, two seeking, three seeking air mines, and they completely wipe out that Lava Hound before it even has a chance to get to that air defense. So the same theory goes for the air bombs placed at the very top of the village. If you know this Lava Hound based attack well, you know that the attacker almost always drops a clan castle full of balloons at the very top of the village to start this attack. So what could be a better counter than a whole bunch of splash damage, four air bombs at the top of the screen, and again we go back to the replay. And as we watch the beginning of this attack, it wasn't a clan castle full of balloons, but there was a big pack up there. The bombs move in, do severe damage to these balloons, and you might have seen me just move one other air bomb over to that area. I think four instead of three would have been ideal. You can see here the third air bomb almost takes out all of these balloons, severely damages them, definitely giving me an advantage at the very beginning of this attack. So another small fundamental that might help an anti-air base succeed. 
So now we just have to hope that whomever attacks me next is not a regular viewer of this channel. But thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about this new update. Stay tuned for more sneak peeks. Check out my other videos, like, comment, subscribe, and favorite. And I will see you again very soon with more full attacks. Galidon, I'm coming for your base.